Good afternoon. Welcome to our online remembrance service on Sunday the 14th of November. I'm actually recording this uh, at quarter past 11. We've had the two minutes silence. By the time you see this, it will be afternoon. Just a short announcement. Next week, we shall actually have a service, a public service here in the church, Sunday the 21st, 11 a.m. We're going to have a short act of remembrance now, without the two-minute silence, because it's a bit late for that now. But uh, just a short act of remembrance. So let us listen to some sentences of scripture. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence will my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. This I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles and shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Let us sing the hymn Amazing Grace. I've chosen two very well-known hymns that we can sing, which I can also play. I didn't really think that, oh God, I help in ages past is something I could play on the ukulele. Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Was grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears Believe how precious did that grace appear. The hour I first believed, the Lord hath promised good to me. His word. My hope secures He will my shield and portion be As long as life endures When we've been there ten thousand Shining as the sun We've no less days To sing God's praise Than when we'd first begun
we meet in a virtual sense, but in a real sense as well, in the presence of God. We commit ourselves to work in penitence and faith for reconciliation between the nations. That all people may together live in freedom, justice and peace. We pray for all who in bereavement, disability and pain continue to suffer the consequences of fighting and terror. We remember with thanksgiving and sorrow those whose lives in world wars and conflicts, past and present, has been given and taken away. They shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. Let us pray. Ever living God, we remember those whom you have gathered from the storm of war into the peace of your presence. May that same peace calm our fears. Bring justice to all peoples and establish harmony among the nations. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us hear these words from the New Testament. Firstly, the words of Jesus in John chapter 14. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled. and Do not let them be afraid. The words of the Apostle James in his epistle. The wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits, without a trace of partiality or hypocrisy. And a harvest of righteousness is sown in peace for those who make peace. And the Apostle John, from his first epistle, this is the message we have heard from him and proclaim to you that God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. Let us turn to God in prayer. Let us pray for all who suffer as a result of conflict and ask that God may give us peace. For the servicemen and women who have died in the violence of war, each one remembered by and known to God, may God give peace. For those who love them in death as in life, offering the distress of our grief and the sadness of our loss, 
May God give peace. For all members of the armed forces who are in danger this day, remembering family, friends, and all who pray for their safe return, may God give peace. For civilian women, children, and men whose lives are disfigured by war or terror, calling to mind in penitence the anger and hatreds of humanity. For peacemakers and peacekeepers who seek to keep this world secure and free, may God give peace. For all who bear the burden and privilege of leadership, political, military, and religious, asking for gifts of wisdom and resolve in the search for reconciliation and peace. May God give peace. O God of truth and justice, we hold before you those whose memory we cherish and those whose names we will never know. Help us to lift our eyes above the torment of this broken world and grant us the grace to pray for those who wish us harm. As we honour the past, may we put our faith in your future, for you are the source of life and hope, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We sing together now the hymn, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. friend we have in Jesus, all oh, our sins and griefs to bear, what a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer, oh what peace we often forfeit, oh what needless pain we bear. Because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Have we trials and temptations? Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. To the Lord in prayer, 
when we find a friend so faithful Who will all our sorrow share Jesus knows our every weakness Take it to the Lord in prayer Are we weak and heavy laden? Come, but with a load of care. Precious Saviour, still our refuge. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Do thy friend despise, forsake thee. Take it to the Lord in prayer. In his arms he'll take and shield thee Thou will find a solace there And our final prayer God grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the church, the queen, the commonwealth, and all people, unity, peace, and concord. And to us and all God's servants, life everlasting, and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you all and remain with you always. Amen. Thank you for joining with us for our short act of remembrance. May God bless you this Remembrance Sunday. And until next time.